Hey everybody, my name is Scott Chacon. I'm the CEO of Git Butler, and we're working on a new Git client. And I wanted to show you some behind the scenes sort of features that we're working on and kind of give you a glimpse of, of how we're approaching a new version control system. Um, so what I want to do is I, I actually just want to kind of go through making a normal feature and, and give you an idea of how our new approach to branches is interesting. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this website here and I'm going to change a couple of things. I'm going to pretend I sort of have a feature to work on. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to change some copy. So instead of concierge, let's say, uh, it's your code butler, right? So this is a nice little copy change. But while I'm doing that, I see a bug, right? And it's that there's these four files, there's four buttons over here and there's supposed to be three on sort of a Mac. And so now I have a choice, right, as a developer. If you come and do, see a bug while you're working on a feature or you have a couple features that are kind of unrelated that you need to work on at the same time, is that you either integrate them into one branch so that they're all dependent on each other or uh, you kind of context switch and fix say the bug, stash everything you're doing, fix the bug, do a commit, push it up, do a pull request, try to get it integrated and then go back to what you were doing. But now you don't have that bug fix applied, right? And so that could be problematic as well. So let's go ahead and fix the bug because I think this is how uh, most of us will do it, right? We'll see the bug and we'll go in and we'll fix it. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna fix the bug. I'll just take out that, that other, uh, I'll just take out that other thing there. So now we have the bug fixed, right? We have these sort of three buttons over here um, and we have the new copy and we want to submit the pull requests for these, right? And so what I can do, let's say I'm not even done working on the copy, but I want to send a pull request to fix this bug. Um, so what I can do is I can go into Git Butler. So this is our, our client and you can see that we've kind of approached uh, this a little bit differently. We have these lanes, which are virtual branches. And right now we just have one um, and it's our default branch. And this is kind of like, you know, sort of having a, a main that tracks origin main or something like that. It's your local branch that you're working on. And we have our tracking branch, origin main, that's where things go up. Um, but I'm working on a feature. So I'm working on this concierge butler thing. So let's just say change butler copy. That's the name of my branch, right? And so I can kind of remember that. But again, I saw this, this uh, UI button problem and it's bug fix, right? And I wanna push that up. So now I can create a new virtual branch and I can say button fix, and that's gonna be a separate branch, right? And I can take this change and I can drag it over here. And now I can see that this one's here and this one's here and I can commit it separately, right? So remove extra button and I can commit that. And now that creates a commit as though it had been in our working directory all by itself, right? That that was the only thing that we had staged. It's almost like a add dash I, um, and I can push that commit, right? Um, but one of the nice things that's different than say add dash I is that I can take this on and take this off, right? So if I wanna take the button fix off, I can take the button fix off. There's four again, if I wanna put it back on, there's three again, right? So I can sort of merge and unmerge individual branches that are in my working directory simultaneously. Um, so let's actually undo these ones, right? It makes sure that I have a default branch. So let's put this one back on and we'll just delete these. So, the other cool thing that I can do, right, um, is I can create a branch, a virtual branch off of remote branches that I see. So I can see here that there's another branch that has something called new header and I can check it out. So let's apply that and go over here and we can see, actually, I'll cover myself up for a second. If I unapply the new header, I have change log and about at the top. If I apply the new header, I have blog and about us, right? So it changes sort of the copy at the header. And so I wanna put that on and have my new, my new header. Um, and I also wanna put my Butler copy back in. And this is the, the Butler copy, right? And then let's say I wanna change one more thing. I'll change the background color um, just to make it super, super clear, right? So I'm gonna go in here and change this to a nice, beautiful red color. So now I can go back to my thing here. I Again, I have two different changes in here. That's not part of change butler copy. So let's create a new virtual branch. We'll drag it over here. We'll call it red 
background. And we'll take our background change here, change the background color, and we'll just throw it in here. And we'll commit that. And let's see, what have we pushed? We'll push that one up too. And now what is pretty cool is that I can go to GitHub and I can see all of these changes, right? So if I go to my pull request, I'll see a couple of new branches. I have the button fix as a branch. And if I look at that again, it only removes that one line, right? So it just changes sort of the one line to remove that button. Uh, if I go to, um, that, that's the one that I copied. If I go to the red background one, again, we can see it only changed that red background. You know? and, and I can go into my code at any time and I can, again, let's kind of get an idea of what this looks like here. I can take my red background out. I can take my but button fix out. I can take my copy out. That's not even committed yet, right? That's just sort of stashed. Um, or I can put them all back and I can, I can have them all sort of merged at once. And finally, if I go into my pull requests and I say, okay, red background, that sounds good. Let's do that. Confirm that merge. And let's go here and I say, okay, remove extra button. That was a bug. Sounds good. Let's merge that. So I merge that. And actually the header update's fine too. Let's let's throw it, let's throw that back in. So I'm gonna get all those done. Now, in the meantime, I have all of these applied locally. Um, and I can go in here and I can keep working. So let's say your new code butler, right? So somebody came back with even more copy changes and threw it in there and so that works and I go, okay, better copy, boom. Or uh, your new code butler again. And again, it comes back in and says your new code butler again and I can keep committing to it. Um, and you notice that it knew which branch to put it in, right? So if I'm editing files that are within code hunks that I've already put into a branch and I keep editing them, it will throw it into the right branch if I have all of these, these virtual branches. Um, and then I'm going to, I can see actually here that it sees that I'm behind, right? So I've merged some stuff upstream into origin, into origin main and I'm behind. And so what I wanna do is I want to update everything that I have to be up to date with that. And so I can click on this and I can update the target branch. And what it does is a couple of things. One is it merges that upstream work into the copy changes that I'm having, right? So I actually get that merged in. Eventually we'll have a rebase if that's possible. Um, but for right now, this is kind of what it's doing. And it removes all of the branches that don't, that are extraneous now, that are all merged upstream. So I don't have to worry about them anymore. So they were all applied and now they're all taken out. And all I'm working in now is this one thing. So that's kind of the workflow that we're looking for, right? Is you're working on something, you can put it in a different context. You can have multiple of them applied at the same time. You it notices when they're integrated upstream, you can keep working on them. It remembers kind of what work goes where, um, and you can take ones on and off that you want to try out together. And so your working directory really becomes more of an integration branch. Um, so that's virtual branches. That's what Git Butler is working on. It's one of the many features that Git Butler is working on. Um, but if you're interested in trying it out, please go uh, to gitbutler.com, sign up for a waiting list, or just send me an email or, or contact us and let us know what would be cool for you to use as a version control system. So that's all. Thank you.